Bye. Just gonna get some water real quick. Uh, do you want some? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to start? Is there anything you want to know before we start or? No, I think I'm ready. Yeah. What up guys and welcome back to a new episode of Gossip Guy podcast. My name is Anna Skoltens and today I'm here with 17 year old Norwegian singer songwriter Emma. Yeah, I'm hi. Hi, how are you? I didn't pronounce your last name because I didn't want to pronounce it, it, uh, it wrong. How do you say it? Uh, I say it like uh, Steinbacken. Steinbacken. Yeah, perfect. Like okay, perfect. cool. Like that. When, I, when I said it in, in Dutch, it sounds Steinbacken and it, sounds, it just sounds a little weird, I think. But um, cool that you're uh, willing to, to do this podcast with me. Really cool. Yeah, so good to be here. Um, yeah, be here. Um, for people who don't know you, could you tell us something about yourself? Yes. Okay. So I am an artist okay. from Norway. I am 17 years old and I sing and I write music. Okay. How long have you been doing? Uh, how, have, how long have you been singing and for how long have you been writing music to different? Uh, um, well, I've done it like my whole life, but I started to like. Do it professionally. Like work professionally in about two years soon. You recently dropped a new single. Mm -hmm. um, it's, got, it's a pretty long title. It's um, Let's Blow Our Feelings Up With Dynamite. Can you tell us something about it? Yeah. Well, I wrote it when I felt, you know, I, I had this time off because I felt confused and frustrated and overwhelmed about mm -hmm last year and you know a lot of things happened so I just needed some time off and um, yeah some weeks after that break I came in the studio and I to be honest I didn't even know if I could write a song anymore mm -hmm. um, but I met one of my favorite producers his name is Johnny Coffer he's English and um, we wrote that song that day and it feels like you know, many of my songs, or like all of my songs, is about like feelings or things mm -hmm. that I've been been through. Yeah, um, I noticed. This yeah, time, this song is more about like a feeling I've had for many years. Okay. So it's not just like one situation; it's something that sticks with me. So it feels very personal. Yeah, it, it, I listened to the lyrics and it, and it sounds personal. That's why I, I wanted to talk about it. Like, what, like one um, lyric in particular, I, I had a question about, like it's, it's, it's getting late, I'm way too drunk and in my feelings. What's the legal drinking age in uh, Norway? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's 18. Okay, so you were joking in the song. <laughs> I asked on, on Instagram to, for people to ask you questions. And I had a very specific one. It was someone who asked, ask her about her passion for ATV driving. Do you have a passion for ATV driving? <laughs> wow. Well, it's just, that's probably one of my friends. Because um, okay. when I was a bit younger, I really wanted uh, an ATV. Okay. But my parents wouldn't let me. Um, so yeah, it's just a joke because they think that I'm weird and that's not common where I live. Like no one has it. But it's uh, cool. So it will be cool, but it will be, yeah, I think they just think I'm, I'm weird because I want the things that no one else has. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, any other specific hobbies or, or things that uh, you like to do that no one else really does or you feel like uh, no one else does? <laughs> Well, I think it's not, it's probably not something that no one else does, but I love to watch those YouTube videos, the, um, the hair fails, the what? haircut fails ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to YouTube and you search like uh, haircut fails, <laughs> it's the most hilarious videos ever. And I couldn't sit and watch them for hours. Okay. I might just do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny you say that because literally the second before I started this podcast, I was uh, dyeing my mom's hair because like oh, barber yeah. shops are closed and they send yeah. us a little kit with, with all the shampoo and, and the, the paint to, to uh, dye our hair. And that's mm -hmm. what I was doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not, not related to, uh, to whatever you're uh, doing, but I uh, thought it was funny. Yeah. Um, another question from one of my followers who asks, 
if you understand Danish, because she's from Denmark and she was wondering. Yeah, I actually have Danish family. Okay, so my cool. uncle and my cousins are Danish. So I can, I understand like, a, well, I, I would say that I understand a lot, but there's like some words that I have no clue what it means. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like for a Norwegian person, it would, I will understand Swedish and I will understand like a lot of Danish, but not everything. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. Um, another question, which I asked for the dilemmas as well. Someone asks, would you rather never use social media again or never make music again? Oh, wow. Well, it's, it's a hard question, mm-hmm. but it's an easy answer because I would have to choose like never use social media again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, all my whole life, since I started to like be able to write and stuff, I've always loved to write. So I don't think that I could ever be able to stop doing that. And sometimes I even think about like deleting Instagram and Snapchat yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. A little social media distancing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I've, I've been wonder, uh, thinking about too. Because uh, sometimes, have you checked your uh, screen time recently? Do you ever no, do that? I don't want to see it. I don't yeah, see it. I, I did. And it was a big, big mistake because uh, I, I felt bad about myself. <laughs> um, another specific quest- question. Um, what is your favorite favorite Astrid S song. So it's, it's an other uh, Norwegian uh, singer. Yeah, she's really good. Yeah. I think, uh, well, I love a song called Bloodstream. Okay. Um, but, you know, um, can I just check real quick? Of, all those <laughs> of course you can. But she just, or not recently, but she released an EP. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was really good. It was like a stripped down one. Uh, mm-hmm. I love, okay, my favorite song is called Side Love. I think Side it's, love. Amazing. yeah, okay. Side Love. It's, it's so good. I wish I wrote that song. Okay. Mm-hmm. Any other songs you, you wish you wrote instead of someone else? Uh, okay, so I'm very into Norwegian artists. And this mm-hmm. is this girl, um, her name is Squad. And mm-hmm. she has this song, it's called 24. 24 okay and it's really good i wish i wrote that and i sing that every day it's it's so good <laughs> okay cool um well, yeah the, the, i've never heard of it so i'm, I'm gonna google it after this podcast but um yeah. another pretty a pretty difficult question is could you describe your life using one word just one word oh, wow that's hard mm-hmm. um i think i would have to say chaotic chaotic okay but yeah. like but in a pretty good way right because there's just in a lot a of things way. happening yeah in a good way but uh, yeah i feel like chaotic is i could say exciting mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. um okay I'll, I'll change it i mean exciting <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah but i mean you i would say like and my life is like it's two words but it's like an organized chaos and it's the way i like it because there's just a lot of things happening and you're always doing yeah. stuff yeah yeah i know what i mean but my life is not organized so no <laughs> another question from the for, did by the way did you get any questions on your uh story or did the is it not possible to ask questions it's not possible, yeah. okay <laughs> um okay this is a, a tough one well tough one because I, I wouldn't want any of these but would you rather be stuck in a room with 10 spiders or with one wasp oh wow one wasp mm-hmm. yeah one wasp um, okay sorry yeah i was i was distracted okay one wasp um i feel like spiders wouldn't hurt you right but they're just scary yeah you're afraid yeah. of spiders? It's just, no, I wouldn't say, like, not really, but what was it, 10,000? 10, 10, just 10. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, then, then that. I yeah. thought it was 10,000. Yeah, if it's 10,000, then I would uh, <laughs> choose a wasp <laughs> as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Now, any other fears from animals or, or anything else? Fear of heights, fear of uh, snakes? Sharks. Sharks? 
Yeah. Okay. So when I was younger, I really liked to watch this like um, scary shark movies. Mm -hmm. um, but it just made me super scared. So I was scared that a shark would come in the pool. <laughs> like, yeah, I was super scared. It, okay. it was, it was just, if it was just water, I thought it could be a shark there. So I mm -hmm. still think that's super scary. I feel like a lot of people share your uh, fear as well. So I'm, I'm laughing, but I, I don't think it's such a weird <laughs> fear. No, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid of snakes. That's the only animal I wouldn't want to see in real life. Yeah, well, I've, I've held one like around my neck. Oh, damn. But I was super young, so I don't think I was really scared. But it's really weird to, to touch it. Mm -hmm. It has a very like weird skin yeah so yeah i just feel like i can't you never know what they're gonna do because they're so fast and they're yeah yeah, yeah. But have you watched uh this uh, netflix series called tiger king no i want to watch it but yeah it's it's amazing you should watch it but after um after watching that i really want a tiger a tiger yeah, because it's about tigers and, mm -hmm. um, or yeah, uh, and they're so cute. I really want a tiger now. <laughs> I was scared of them before, but now I want one. Okay. I don't think that's legal, but uh, you could try. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you, a, uh, when you say you like tigers, does it mean you're rather a cat person than a dog person or? No, not really. Like I really want a, a French bulldog. Mm hmm um, but my parents don't want a dog. Oh. So I have to wait till I move out. Um, but I had a cat for some years. But, you know, a cat is, it's cute and cozy, but it doesn't do anything. So if I could choose, I would rather have a dog. Okay. Yeah. I feel yeah. like, yeah. So, like I have a cat, but I always enjoy when people have a dog. Because I feel like having a dog comes with a lot of responsibilities and where, when all of your friends just have dogs and you can go there and play with the dog, that, that's, that's, yeah. you get the best part of the dog in a way. True. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, this is a, 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 a complicated one. I, I don't, I'm going to try and read it. But <laughs> would you rather um, forget all your memories and make new ones or you or never remember your new memories from now on oh wow it's a really tough one i don't know how you it's come up with something like that but since i'm only 17 mm -hmm. i have more life or more years to live than yeah. I, I have lived mm -hmm. so i think i would choose to like forget my the memories i have and make the and new ones. ones yeah okay well i think i might just do the same yeah, that's it. Yeah. I think that's that's uh, on our, at our age that's a logical answer. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be the funniest person in the room or the most intelligent? <laughs> wow. Okay. No, I would be the most intelligent. I think. If I could okay. Choose. You yeah, are the most you? intelligent, or you want to be? Yeah, <laughs> I would want to be. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah I think that's. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to agree with you there. Um, yeah, this one is a simple one for you, I guess. Would you rather be blind or deaf? Blind. Yeah, <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. More people ask the same one. Okay, this is one. Um, would you all, a, a simple one, people always ask this, but would you rather be always too hot or always too cold? Oh, I think that's super hard. Hard? Okay. Yeah, it's hard. But I think I would choose to be too cold. Yeah, because you can put on more clothes, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not comfortable when you're too hot. No, you would always have to put ice cubes on your face. I don't know what you do when you, yeah. uh, or you're too hot. Oh. Okay, those are all the dilemmas I have. Uh, there was a, another question I really... Um, liked because you filmed a music video and not at a fancy location but at your house how did yeah. that go um you know it, it was a challenge yeah mm -hmm. i've never like been very interested in in like filming and 
angles and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not like, I, I don't know anything about that. Um, but it, I think it was cool. It, I got some help from my sister and my mom. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was like, excuse me, sorry, maybe, maybe I have to clarify that the reason you did it in your house is just because that's the responsible thing to do right now. I have to yeah. clarify that. Like, just to be clear, stay inside and don't do stupid stuff. Okay, <laughs> go on with the story. Yeah. So, yeah, because we were supposed to go to Berlin and record mm -hmm. it there, but we couldn't, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but it, it was a challenge, but it was, it was fun. Yeah, so we recorded, like, a lot of weird things, and then we just sent <laughs> it to people that can edit, and mm -hmm. they made the video. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I think it's, it's a really creative solution as well. So did, who did the most of the filming? Was it just placing the camera sometimes somewhere? Or did you ask your mom, mom, can you film me doing this? Really, my sister, she just okay. like ran after me. Like, uh, you know, the scenes where I run. Mm -hmm. She just ran in like a circle around me while I run. So you, it, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it <laughs> yeah. was super weird, but yeah. So That's a cool effect. It's a cool effect. And did you did you get instructions to do that, or was that your idea to to do stuff like that? Uh, well, I got some instructions, and some of them were like just do something weird, mm -hmm. and then we just had to find something to do. Really, mm -hmm. yeah. So it okay. was like a mix. Okay. No, it, it's really cool. Um, is there any new music coming? There was another question someone asked. It is. Okay. Uh, you know, I've written um, quite some songs now, but it has to feel right. And I want it to be perfect. So mm -hmm. things take time. True. Uh, but yeah, it is. But now I just want to enjoy the release of this new song. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's just uh, only logical. Um, what, yeah, another question someone asked me on Twitter, because I, I uh, saw that I was going to do a podcast with you. He asks, what do you enjoy more, like um, playing for a really small crowd that all know your songs or playing for a really big arena? What's... what's uh... If, like, on the arena, no one knows my songs, I would mm -hmm. rather sing for, like, a smaller crowd. Yeah. Because one of the best feelings is when the crowd is singing your song. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that would be super cool. Yeah, that would be. I can't imagine what I, what that's like uh, when you just stop singing and you hear everybody yeah. sing your song. It must be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I prepared a little game, but I don't know if it's gonna work as well as I hope. Cause I I can make my background make something uh, another picture or something, and I have this emoji game where you take three emojis and you have to guess what movie um, I'm uh, Oh, wow. Making. Yeah. Okay, I'm really bad at movies, but okay. Okay, I'll, I'll just start with an easy one then. Yeah. Okay, let's see how I do this and if it's actually going to work. It's going to be uh, awkward if it doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel like this one is easy. What's this? <laughs> Whoa, my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> um the first thing i thought of was tiger king but what is that <laughs> everything tiger now okay it's a uh, life of pi guys, i don't watch movies you don't okay no. this is life of pi okay i'm oh. gonna say no this is an easy one this you have you gotta guess this one <laughs> the joker <laughs> yeah okay yeah. um I don't know if it's this uh, this is an, uh, a movie that's also popular in Norway, but this one is it's mainly this guy and this guy. Oh, what is it called? Uh, the uh, and uh, but oh, it's you're getting there. In Norwegian, the um, the Untouchable. Yes, anti Shablon. It's uh, is it right? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Two for three. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's great, actually. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I have then, then I have one um, 
a question that I think is just interesting. It's not a dilemma or anything. But if you could go back in time to experience one moment, it could be historical, it could be really personal, um, what would it be? Um, if I could choose something that has to do with music, I think it it would be the time or the, yeah, when we played at the Energy Star Night thing in, in Switzerland, mm -hmm. it was like uh, for 15,000 people. Wow, and I, okay. Yeah, and that was like my first time playing for a, such a big audience. Mm -hmm. And I was so nervous, so I wish I like, could just stand there and just like enjoy it for mm -hmm. like some seconds. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, maybe that. That is cool. Is that was that like the biggest crowd you've ever performed for? Yeah, fifteen thousand. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Wow, that's it amazing. Was. Yeah, I've never performed for anyone, so <laughs> that's a crazy number for me. Um, yeah, I wouldn't even know where I would go. Maybe something to see my parents go to a party or something. I think that will be funny yeah. just uh, to see yeah, something like that. Sure. It would be cool to see it from like the outside, see yeah. yourself. Outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah oh you were thinking like go back to that moment as yourself or yeah i was mm -hmm. okay yeah then i i get you won't wouldn't go to your parents because you wouldn't be there okay <laughs> <laughs> um no perfect um i don't really have any more questions prepared is there anything you want to share something that's been on your mind that you've been thinking about lately hmm. that's hard i don't know i think like you know, I'm still in school, so I have that every day, and I, I just take a lot of my energy and, and time in school, and also, like, um, I'm still working, like, I have meetings and interviews and stuff, but I'm just really looking forward to, like, start working normally again yeah. and be able to travel again. Mm. Is it hard to combine school and work? I know the answer probably, but... Well, you know... Yes, it is, but yeah. it's, I just feel like I have to do both. Like, it's very important for me to stay in school for many reasons, but like, I think my main reason is just that I work a lot with older people. So just to get to meet other kids every day, mm -hmm. I think that's very good for me. And, you know, yeah. meet my friends and I'm not like, I can't meet my friends every weekend or after school every day because I work and I travel and stuff. Mm -hmm. So just to see my friends at school is, I think that's very healthy and good. Yeah. Cool that you still want to finish school because there's a lot of people who would say, nah, I'm successful now. Let's, <laughs> uh, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, very cool. Uh, there was a question about something you just said that uh, I, for I, I forgot. Damn. Um, no. Any place they can they can follow you? Instagram. Do you have Twitter, by the way? Because I, I tried to follow no, you. No, you don't have Twitter. No. You're not missing out on anything. It's not. Uh... Okay, good. <laughs> Great. It's just like you know. I just started using TikTok. Oh, and... okay. That's a cool topic. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, I just um. I think it's really hard because I like it's a cool app and everything, but it's a lot of weird things there um yeah. and i'm not a good dancer so i'm not like into that mm -hmm. um so it feels very like uncomfortable to use it and but you know yeah so i just started using that and just like getting to know the app and stuff and i feel like if i would be on twitter as well because like i've heard like oh you should be on twitter and it's super mm -hmm. cool and stuff like there's a lot, like, you know, it's Instagram, mm -hmm. it's Snapchat, it's TikTok, it's Facebook. and Oh, you still, you, you still use uh, Snapchat? Yeah, every day. Really? But do I you feel use like... WhatsApp? Is we... that like... Sorry, tell me. Yeah, go ahead. Is that like very normal? Do you use it every day? Anto? Um. Well, the thing is, there's, there's not a lot of people in Belgium who still actively use Snapchat. I mean... We don't, I don't really go and check Snapchat stories. And if I want to say something to someone, I'm, I use Messenger, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp. Yeah. And lately I've been using uh, Instagram DMs uh, a lot. Yeah. 
But it's just super weird because um, I didn't know that WhatsApp was like such a big and normal app to use because that's not like common in Norway. Mm -hmm. Like I, I mostly use like text yeah. or I call on FaceTime or I send you a snap. And you know, my, my, my dad, he usually sends me a Snapchat when he wants really? to ask a question. Yeah, because he knows I'm on. I couldn't imagine my, my parents Snapchatting me. It's really <laughs> no, weird. Yeah. Like, oh, it's, it's weird, weird that it's, uh, it's so different. Because you just really named every um, way of communication that I don't really use anymore. Like Snapchat, text, yeah. no, I don't use <laughs> FaceTime. I don't have an iPhone, so I can. But uh, that's, that's cool that it, it's so different. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so you don't have Twitter. You do have TikTok. Is it just Emma Steinbeck? Bakin, how do I yeah. pronounce it? Yeah. Emma Stein, Bakin, yeah. yeah. Okay. And Instagram, of course. Of course. Um, no, perfect. Uh, anything else you, you want to share? Because uh, I already asked you that, but. Uh... That's, that's always the hardest question. No, it I is. Think... I know. That's why I ask it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think I'm fine. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really want to thank you to for coming on this podcast um for having me. that's it for this podcast thanks for listening everybody um the next podcast will come out on friday follow me follow emma uh new single of course also out um yeah, yeah. see you next friday peace <laughs> okay perfect cool great thank you so much